pandas set values. So usually you're working with entire data frames or you're working with a column or a series. Well, what if you just want to reference a specific cell? And what if you want to update that specific cell? Well, that's where pandas set values using dot at and dot i at is going to come into play. So let's go ahead and see how this works. First thing I'm going to do is import pandas as PD. And then I'm going to create my data frame. And this data frame is going to be a list of restaurants in San Francisco. And I will have three columns, name, type, average bill with four different restaurants. And so say I want to get a specific cell. Well, the first way that I like to do this is via the dot at caller. So here I'm saying data frame dot at, and then here's where the important part comes in. We need a row label and then we need a column label. Now the label is what it literally says on your index of your rows and your columns. So here I'm calling row label two, which is right here, and then average bill, which is my column, which is right here. So at the intersection of row label two and column label average bill, we get 80.5. And if we run this, we get 80.5 right here. So that's referencing that specific cell. So say you wanted to update and so you wanna set instead of get a specific cell? Well, you can do that same exact thing where I call the row label, I call my column label, and you do the assign operator, which is literally just an equal sign, a single equal sign, and then you set it to some other value. So here I'm setting it to 101. So then all of a sudden this 80.5 will become 101, and I'll look at my data frame right after. And you can see here that it gets updated to 101. Now, the other important part to understand here is that this assigning happens in place, meaning I didn't have to uh, set my data frame equal to anything. This at operation just happened right on my data frame without me needing to uh, do anything extra. Okay. Now, the other way to do this is via I at, which stands for either index at or integer at. I've seen both. And so what this means is that, is that instead of referencing a specific index label, you're gonna reference an index position. Now, what position means is if we're looking at this data frame right here, this is position zero because Python starts at indexing at zero, position one, position two, position three. Now, the index position in this case happens to equal the index labels, but in the columns, it doesn't. So this is actually column zero and its index position is zero, its label is name. This is column position one, and this is column position, yeah, column position two, even though it's the third column. I get a little tripped up sometimes because Python starts at zero. So here, because I'm saying dot i at, and so I'm saying uh, row position one, so here's position zero, here's position one, and then it, uh, column position two, column position zero, one, and then two. So what I'm looking for is this 224 number. I'll run this. And as you can see, I get 224, which is the uh, row column position intersection. Now, in, if you want to set a label, just uh, if you want to set a position, then it's the same exact thing. So in this 224 example, I'm going to update it to 333. And this is going to be via the assign operator using I at. I'll run this. And as you can see here, it gets updated to 333. And this also happens in place. So that's how you set values and get values of single cells within your data frame.